la la, ooh la la. Every day is a happy day. I want to learn, I want to play. I want to help, I want to stay. And let today be that day. All right, today we have the PJ Masks Deluxe Battle HQ. All right, it says it recognizes and reacts to figures, which seems pretty cool. It comes with Romeo and Catboy. It comes with a vehicle, too. It comes with 25 sounds and phrases. Seems pretty cool, so we'll see. <laughs> we'll see, all right? And this is the side view of the box. All right. Once again, 25 sounds and phrases. It says Romeo is up to something. And time to hatch an escape plan. So, I'm going to open this up. Let me adjust this. I'm going to open this up and assemble it. And then see how it goes. Alright, and if you like our videos, just hit the subscribe button down below. And also hit the like button. So we can... <laughs> It'll help our videos get a little more views. All right, so I'm gonna open this up and assemble it, and see how easy it is. All right. All right. So far, it actually looks like it'll be pretty easy. Here's one main piece. It looks like pretty much everything is together. Here's one piece on this. And here's some stickers. So this is always the fun part, putting all the stickers on. So we'll do that. Let's see what this is in here. There's another little box. Let's open this up and see what's inside. Alright, let's see what's in it. Alright. So there is some there is some assembly with this. Looks like a little recycle bin. Opens up, looks pretty cool. Alright, something wrapped in flat paper. It's Romeo. Alright, little pieces. Let's see this. This looks like it might be the instructions. Yes, here's the instructions. Does not seem too detailed. Just the stickers seem. It's a lot of stickers. Let's open up this. Alright, here's the car. I guess this launches the car. There's a little button, these lift up. Alright. Here is looks looks to be a little gun type. Let's see. Let me see if you can see it. There's a little red button too, but I'm alright, I'm going to shoot it and see how far it goes. Eh, not bad. Alright. And let's see one thing wrapped in paper. I think we know what this is. Let's see. Here we go. Arms and legs move. Alright. So, alright. Let's assemble. Alright. So. Let's get all the so the first step the main piece obviously all right and these pieces just snap in somehow that's what it looks like so it goes in They never go in that smoothly. Alright. 
<laughs> All right, I'm attempting to get it in. It doesn't. Based on the picture, it is supposed to slide in right here. But clearly, it does not just slide in. Maybe. Oh, there it is. Got it. Got it. <laughs> All right, where is the other one? Here is the other one. All right, let me get it close. All right, see? It just goes in right here. It will just slides right in. Very simple. <laughs> All right, not bad. All right, then these two pieces here, see? They just snap into each other. got to do the bottom first. Let me move over here. Get the bottom in. Bottom is in on this side too. Then they just, just got to line it up up top. Alright. Alright. Now the next step. Three. This part just connects right up top here. So... Just snap it in. Maybe it goes this way, we'll see. See, these things are not easy to snap in. If you look at it, all right, there's little things right here, little grooves. This side also has it. It's supposed to just fit right in. Maybe I don't have it close enough. So it, I have both sides trying to snap it, neither one is snapping. All right, so thought it was me at first, but it can't be, right? <laughs> All right, let's see. They look, I, there's only one way it fits. All right, if you look, there's the little, it's like curved on the one side. This side curved, it should fit like this. I'm still having issues getting it to snap. And this is definitely the right way to go. <laughs> oh man. These are never easy to put together, these things. All right, of course that time it just went right in. Now, here we go. It's looking good. All right, now the next step is to hook up the elevator. Here's the elevator. The elevator goes on this side, all right? So let's get it in this part here. <laughs> you know what, it might be easier to do the elevator first. Elevator is on. <laughs> no, this thing is not easy to do at all. It is the way it's supposed to go. It doesn't feel like it's the best plastic. It's bending real easy. I don't see this being... Uh, All right, heard it snap, all right? But still, not gonna be, see, did it again. It's not gonna be the, the most sturdy thing for the kid to play with. So, uh, once again, 
I'm having trouble getting the base of this tower on. It's supposed to just snap in, but it doesn't just snap. So, well, let's just get this little, this on for, uh, I gotta put it, slide it in like this. See, <laughs> so my advice, do the elevator first before, because this thing does not snap on very cheap plastic. I cannot get it to fit that good. See, it's still loose. I cannot get it. <laughs> oh. So, do the ele have the elevator on and then try to snap it because it, if you don't do that, it's not, you're not going to get it. It doesn't say to do it this way, but I can't even get it this way either, so. Very, this is a pain. So, one, it's snapped on the one side, but I can't get it. So I'm gonna hold it upside down, all right? All right, here we go. Yeah. Just be very careful with it. <laughs> All right. So after that, the next step is the stickers. And there is a ton of stickers to put on it. All right. So I don't even know if this has batteries in it. Let's see. Oh, it, doesn't, it does not have the batteries in it either. I gotta find. I gotta figure out where the batteries go to. Hmm. Yeah, on here it says it requires batteries. So, I'm going to pause this and get the batteries. It requires three double A. All right, then I'm going to show you where they go in. All right, we're back. I got the batteries. Let me show you where the section is. It's right inside here. Couldn't be in a worse spot to have to put them, right? So, I'm going to put them in right now. And it's... There goes the base again. <laughs> Alright, so it is not a no it's like a smaller screw too. It's not like it's it's not like it's a normal you can use a normal screwdriver and you like a little mini one. So let's get the batteries in. make sure they're in the right and yeah, they're all in the right way Let's screw this back on it's not it's yeah, not easy to do. I read that this toy is kind of cheap, right? Cheap plastic. So, it's supporting that. The batteries are in, but I don't even know how you turn it on. There, all right. So now I gotta assemble the base again. Let's see if I can, oh. Yeah, once again. The easier to just have the elevator on. There, I heard a little snap. For what we have, what we could do, I'm just doing that. I'm not going to keep playing with it. Hopefully, it'll stay. No. I don't get why 
this is so difficult to have on. So, this is supposed to be able to tell who is on here. So now listen to what it says. So, you can tell it has a different reaction to Romeo, right? Intruder. Alright, it's pretty cool. It, it can tell. Let's see. It says it can tell the difference between them. So let's see. Pretty cool, right? So it could tell the difference between the two. That's probably the coolest thing about this. Alright. And it just does not, I cannot assemble that. And basically this thing goes underneath here. Uh, let me just do it now. Still cannot assemble this thing. So this goes under here. The car fits in here, so you press this, shoot the car out, kind of. He could ride in it, let's see, kind of. And then, let's see. It comes with this, but there's no, I don't see anywhere where I could connect it. Oh, there's a little spot in the back, I guess, right here. Seems kind of pointless. Also, there's the little this little gun. Where does this connect? Uh, it does not. Because uh, you you could eject. You could eject Romeo and he'll fall into the dumpster. It's a recycle bin. So the recycle bin is supposed to hook up to the back. There's a little button. So we got to see how I can do it. All right, let's see. Here's the instructions. Does not really show you how. Supposedly he falls out the back. I got to be careful because I don't have it hooked up right. That's the problem. It can't I can't snap it in. So Let's see. This could drop down, I guess. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, right here. There he goes. <laughs> uh, let's see. The PJ Maxx will never see me coming. I could just not. I just can't get it snapped. It. This toy <laughs> is a lot of frustration. I'm not even gonna bother putting the stickers on. There's a lot of stickers, but. I cannot even snap it. There's only like three things to snap and I can't snap the main the main piece on. This is how it is. It does not doesn't snap. Very frustrating. It's, <laughs> well, we already have it, so we're gonna hook it up. Try to do it. Maybe we'll just glue it. So elevator. Here's the little elevator showing up close. It's literally like two pieces to put together. It's not even that hard, but it won't snap. So, here's all the stickers. Obviously, it'll look pretty cool with all the stickers, but yeah. That's our video. We couldn't snap it. This is not something that's easy to do. And just be patient if you. <laughs> If you have little kids, be patient. Do it when they're not around because... Alright, well, that is all for our video. We had it assembled. <laughs> and it fell apart. It does have cool features. Like how it could recognize the, between the two different fi figures, Romeo and Catboy. So, that is all for our video. We'll, stickers we'll put on later, whatever. So, that is it. But once again, if you like our video, hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button to find out about our next videos coming out. We have a bunch more toy videos that we're going to put out. Alright, well thanks for watching.